Our continent has got everything for development. Unfortunately, it's a, an accepted fact that uh, we are perhaps the least developed of all the continents of the world. And why so? It's all because of not too developed human capacity. And so this is the main challenge. Challenge to my generation, and we are on our way out. Challenge to the next generation and to the youth. I believe most of you qualify as the youth. I accepted an invitation from the African Development Bank to come here to take part in uh, is it a forum on nutrition. The president of the bank visited Ghana last November, uh, and in a panel discussion uh, with him, we agreed that perhaps it was time for Africa to engage on developing human capacity as quickly as possible, because it's the most basic factor for overall development. And if Africa must mainstream itself in globalization, the globalization process, which captures every people, continents, races, wherever, then Africa must find a way to quickly develop the capacity of our humanity. And how do we do it? On examination, we agree that it wasn't just the formal education that would develop us, nor improved health that would develop us. The, the kernel of development is in nutrition. Nutrition. And science establishes clearly that right nutrition begins with the embryo in our mother's womb being fed properly. If we give, we give the embryo the right nutrition through birth to the first and second year, the little child gets the proper development from the brain to the body for the rest of his life. And if that's the case, then Africa must look in this direction. I believe the president of the bank has coined a phrase that I like very much, which is the gray matter infrastructure. We are all concerned. Everybody wants development. And the bank's president has coined this phrase, gray matter infrastructure. If we get uh, our gray matters properly developed, then we can think out of the box. We, you are engaged on innovative thinking. If your gray matter is not built to be equal to this challenge of innovation, innovative thinking, you would always lag behind. And truly, when you look at our continent, malnutrition is costing us so much it is estimated that every year we lose 3 to 16% of our GDP through malnutrition. In dollar terms, it's costing billions of dollars. So if we will get it right with nutrition, we save this money, and then not only that, we empower our humanity to think, no matter the circumstances, so we get solutions to the many challenges confronting our people. And uh, when the, the panel of which I was a member, the president of the bank was a member, concluded the discussions, and we agreed that truly we must get nutrition right from before birth, we said, the way to achieve it for Africa should be to get the leaders of Africa, leaders 
not only the political leaders, leaders in industry, in uh, uh, corporate world, in civil society organizations, in now traditional systems, our religious system, we must get all of them to accept this basic truth. So together, we go in to get nutrition right, especially for our women folk who are our mothers. Uh, so uh, in pregnancy, they give our embryos the right nourishment. So we come out with the requisite factors for proper development. And so we formed what's called African Leaders for Nutrition. Today, we are here, and hopefully, through the African uh, Development Bank Annual General Meeting, uh, the meeting as such, you know, meeting of ministers and perhaps some heads of state, would adopt the system, and then we broadcast it. We let all the con uh, countries of our continent accept it as the most basic truth for us to overcome so, so we save our co continent from the malnutrition that is costing us too much. If we do not get it right with the fast-moving world, moving into global, the global village of competitiveness will always be handicapped. Uh, other people will come from other continents to exploit our resources minus us, or even if they include us, we would be like laborers. They take all the profit away. I, I hope uh, you would get other countries to organize such meetings on the continent. So more and more, uh, the initiative, innovative thinking, creativity would become the order of the day for the countries of Africa. Thank you very much for giving me the audience. Thank you.